What awaits the universe? Can infinity have an end? The cosmos, which seems eternal and unchanging, is actually in constant motion, hiding hints of its own destiny. Billions of stars light up the darkness, creating the illusion of endless brilliance. But what if one day that light fades? Perhaps the universe is not as eternal as it seems. Over time, its structure changes, obeying laws that are still not fully understood. Something attracts, something repels, and unknown forces guide galaxies into the unknown. Maybe one day, everything that exists will be subjected to one inevitable process, which will become the final chapter in the story of the cosmos. But what will this end be like? Will it be swift or stretch into infinity? Will it be destruction or a transition to something new? Want to know more? Subscribe. Like. The most interesting is yet to come. Physicist Rajendra Gupta from the University of Ottawa suggests that the age of the universe may not be 13.7 billion years, but 26.7 billion years, based on the idea that light loses energy while traveling through space. The current estimate of the age is based on redshift, which is traditionally explained by the Doppler effect. Distant galaxies appear redder. However, Fritz Zwicky proposed in the 20th century that photons might lose energy, which would also cause redshift. Recent observations have called the age of the universe into question. For example, early galaxies appear too developed, prompting scientists to seek other explanations. Gupta's theory suggests that photons lose energy, as predicted by Zwicky, due to variability in the constant that governs the interaction between particles. This could imply that the expansion rate of the universe is slower, and its age much greater. If photons do indeed lose energy, it changes our understanding of the universe's expansion. The question is, what causes redshift, the stretching of space, or the loss of energy by photons? The general theory of relativity explains how space and time interact with matter and energy. However, space itself cannot be directly observed. It can only be studied through its influence on objects, light, and other forms of radiation. As the universe expands, the volume occupied by matter increases, but its total amount remains the same. As a result, the density of matter decreases, and the structure of the cosmos continues to change. The rate of this process is about 70 kilometers per second per megaparsec. However, the expansion is not uniform. Ordinary and dark matter slow it down, while the mysterious dark energy accelerates it. Unlike everything else, dark energy does not thin out over time, and its volume increases, maintaining a trend of continuous acceleration. But how exactly does space itself behave? Radiation changes as though space is stretching along with it, while dark energy behaves as if new, free areas are appearing. However, there is no definitive answer yet. Relativity theory describes how space-time develops, but does not provide a final understanding of its nature. How do different types of stars, from red dwarfs to supergiants, affect the evolution of their environment and the galaxy as a whole? What happens to the matter expelled during a supernova explosion? And how does it influence the formation of new stars and planets in the universe? Astrophysics has made significant strides in understanding stellar evolution, and while there are still some gaps, the overall picture of a star's life cycle is well understood. It all begins with a molecular cloud, where gravity starts pulling matter together, creating a center of mass where a protostar eventually forms. As this happens, the gas dust disk surrounding it spins faster, the temperature increases, and when it reaches several million degrees, thermonuclear fusion begins. Hydrogen fuses into helium, releasing energy and increasing brightness. The next phase in a star's life is a long and stable process, where the star, gradually burning its hydrogen, remains in a state of equilibrium. This phase can last billions of years, with the star becoming gradually hotter and brighter, but without significant changes unless it collides with other stars. Stars of low mass, like brown dwarfs, cannot undergo thermonuclear fusion, and their life consists of slow cooling. However, for massive stars, their old age is not a time of rest, 
but rather one of active change. When hydrogen runs out in a star, it begins to synthesize heavier elements like helium, carbon, and oxygen. This causes the star to expand and shine brightly, eventually shedding its outer layers, which forms a planetary nebula. A white dwarf remains at the center, which will slowly cool over time. For very massive stars, over 12 solar masses, the final stages of their evolution are far more dramatic. After the synthesis of heavy elements is complete, the star may explode as a supernova, leaving behind a neutron star, or, in the case of even more massive objects, a black hole. These extreme events are accompanied by the release of enormous amounts of energy and matter into space. The Sun, as a medium-sized star, will follow this path and approach the red giant stage in about seven billion years. Its expansion in size and luminosity will lead to the engulfing of Mercury, and then it will lose mass due to a strong solar wind. At the end of its evolution, the Sun will become a white dwarf, which will gradually fade, leaving behind a cold and dead remnant in the center of the solar system. What will happen to the planets when their star exhausts its resources and disappears? If such changes are inevitable for every star, does this mean that eventually the entire universe will face a similar demise? What theories predict the final stage of the universe's life? And at what point, according to current scientific discoveries, will the death of the cosmos become inevitable? There are several hypotheses regarding the end of the universe, and one of the most discussed is the theory of heat death. According to this theory, the universe will eventually reach a state of thermodynamic equilibrium where all energy is evenly distributed and no processes capable of sustaining life will remain. Stars will burn out, planets will lose their orbits, and matter will break down into elementary particles. In this state, the universe will become empty and cold, and no processes will take place. This process will take billions of years and will result in residual particles such as neutrinos and photons being the only elements filling the space. However, there are other possible scenarios. One of them involves the so-called Big Rip, which could be triggered by dark energy. In this case, the expansion of the universe will not slow down, but on the contrary, will accelerate to such an extent that all material structures, including galaxies and even atoms, will disintegrate. Space and time will be destroyed, and the universe will vanish into chaos. While this scenario is theoretically possible, it remains unlikely due to the complexity of modeling and numerous unresolved issues in theoretical physics. Another scenario is the Big Crunch. According to this hypothesis, dark energy might weaken and cause the universe to collapse. Galaxies will converge, temperature and pressure will rise, and matter will turn into plasma. Atoms will disintegrate, and the universe will return to a singularity, potentially leading to a new Big Bang. This idea is supported by theorists like Paul Steinhardt and Andrei Sakharov, but it requires further evidence. One of the most unusual options is the concept of conformal cyclic cosmology by Roger Penrose, according to which the universe will be infinitely cyclical, transitioning from one cycle to another after the heat death. However, this hypothesis contradicts current scientific views. There is also a theory suggesting that the universe may disappear due to a random vacuum phase transition, which would destroy the structure of space and the principles of physics, leading to the creation of a new world with different laws. Although these scenarios may seem distant and improbable, they help us better understand how the universe evolves and what its future might hold. Currently, the answer about its ultimate fate remains open, and perhaps in the future, we will develop new theories that will explain how worlds are born and die. What new mysteries does the Great Attractor influence hide in the motion of galaxies? What secrets may still be concealed within the cosmic walls and bubbles that we are only beginning to discover? And what might they tell us about the origin of the universe? The Great Attractor located 250 million light-years from Earth, is one of the most mysterious gravitational anomalies in the universe. This massive gravitational object, which is 50 billion times the mass of the Sun, influences the motion of galaxies, 
including our Milky Way, diverting them from their expected trajectories. Its impact on the speed of the Milky Way's movement is about 44%. Until recently, studying this anomaly was challenging due to its location in a region where light from other galaxies is absorbed by the dust and stars of our own galaxy. However, with the help of the Parkes Radio Telescope, scientists were able to study this area, leading to the discovery of new galaxies and clusters. One of the most significant discoveries in recent years was the detection of the Southern Pole Wall, one of the largest cosmic structures ever found. This enormous wall, extending 1.4 billion light years and containing hundreds of thousands of galaxies, had remained unnoticed until recently due to its location half a billion light years from the Milky Way. Its size is comparable to the Great Sloan Wall, one of the largest known cosmic structures. This discovery confirms the existence of a vast cosmic web, where galaxies are connected in filamentary structures, surrounded by immense voids. A map created using algorithms and starry sky images revealed a massive bubble of matter located in the southernmost part of the celestial sphere. Its extent spans billions of light years, making it a crucial object for scientific research. It stretches towards the constellations of Cetus and the Phoenix. The discovery of such large-scale structures allows for a deeper understanding of the vastness of the universe and supports existing cosmological models. However, despite these successes, precisely defining the boundaries of such objects remains a difficult task for astronomers. These advancements in astronomy not only deepen our understanding of the structure of the universe, but also open new horizons for developing more accurate theories about its origin and evolution. Modern technologies and algorithms are helping uncover mysteries that have remained hidden for decades and to stay at the forefront of these exciting discoveries and keep up with the latest space news, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.